Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. In this video, let us analyze how to find number of electrons in an atom having the quantum numbers n is equal to 3, l is equal to 0. First, let us start with n is equal to 1 for better understanding. If n is equal to 1, the shell is called K shell and the value of l is equal to 0. Because for n values, l is equal to 0 to n minus 1. So here 1, so 1 minus 1, 0. Then subshell, if L is equal to 0, the subshell is S. So value of ML depends on that L value. So ML is magnetic quantum number 2L plus 1. So here L, 0. So 2 into 0, 0 plus 1. So we will get 1. So if it is 1, the value we write it like 0. That means we have that only one orbital. Now for better understanding, let us use that box diagram for representing that orbitals. So only one orbital is present if n is equal to 1 and l is equal to 0. Now come to our question. Here they ask that n is equal to 3 and l is equal to 0. So let us write 3. If n is equal to 3, the shell is M shell and the values of L 0, 1, 2 and the shell is 3s here 3 stands for principal quantum number n so here we should write 1s then if l is equal to 1 3p l is equal to 2 3d now come to ml value if l is equal to 0 the value of ml is also 0 so that means only one orbital is present let us complete that ml values for 3p and 3d orbitals n is equal to 3 and l is equal to 0 only one orbital so let us show by the box diagram then for l is equal to 1 and then n is equal to 3 we should draw that uh, three boxes and then for this one we have to draw that five boxes but uh, let's concentrate only on that question n is equal to 3 and l is equal to 0. According to Pauli's exclusion principle only two electrons can exist in an orbital we can show this way so for n is equal to 3 and l is equal to 0 the orbital can hold only two electrons so the answer for this question is only two electrons Thanks for watching.